my friends this is Andrea from Adventures and Dreams I'm off with you guys to another adventure and I'm here in the Adirondack Mountains for three days uh, two nights I actually slept at Keen Farm already last um, last night I got there pretty late and um, today I'm just going to do a loop with you guys up to Crow Mountain I believe um, Lost Pond I need to get my stuff packed a little bit and uh, organized. I have bought some more food. I need to squeeze it into my pack somehow. But it's going to be um, an amazing weekend, I think. Uh, there's supposed to be some thunderstorms, possibly uh, some rain, um, sunshine, everything. So we'll see. Last night it already rained. The drive here to this parking lot was pretty cool with fog in the mountains it was gorgeous well let me get uh, my stuff packed away um, maybe do some breakfast because I uh, hurried up to come over here so I didn't eat anything yet so I had my breakfast I got everything packed all my extra food that I bought on the way down here now I'm heading out to my loop trail. I think I said it earlier, I'm, I was hoping to start my hike last night already and sleep out by the pond, but uh, it was just getting too late, it was already dark, the sun set already, and uh, so I decided to stay at Keen Farm. But now I'm actually kind of glad because I just saw a group of college kids, super nice kids, uh, but maybe 10 or 15, and they all stayed by the uh, by the lean-tos down there. So the quiet I would have liked to have probably wouldn't have happened. <laughs> so now I'm just going to be out here two nights, uh, hug up to a mountain, western mountain, and hope to have some nice views there and also uh, some good places to camp at. We'll see. So we have an intersection here. This path goes to Hurricane Mountain and this is where we're going for the loop. Uh, it goes to Lost Pond and up to Western Mountain. But eventually I actually want to take the Hurricane Mountain route as well and stay up on the mountain. We have a couple of lean-tos coming up. And this is where we came from here. It's so quiet out here. There were a few people earlier that followed me and uh, I think they were going to... Ah, it's a frog. <laughs> Uh, they were going to Hurricane Mountain and there were a couple more behind me but I don't know where they were going so but now it's totally quiet so maybe they all went to Hurricane Mountain and here is already the lean-to it's got water to filter and it's really not bad from the parking lot honestly that would be a good option I come to Hurricane Mountain and I want to just hike in a little bit uh, on Friday night. I'm about halfway to Lost Pond, <clears throat> which would be my first possible option for staying overnight. But uh, I'm kind of eager to get up the mountain, you know, so I can 
have the great view and maybe have um, some crazy clouds from the thunderstorms come in. We'll see. See how long it takes me to get there. With just a normal day pack and in good shape, it takes about four hours for the entire loop. But of course, it takes me a lot longer with the filming and with my pack and a lot of water. to the pond friends can you hear the frogs it's really beautiful here <laughs> the hike wasn't too bad so far it was just a bit of a steep hill there at some point that went on and on forever but I guess that's nothing compared to um, Western Mountain, so it's not too bad. <laughs> so I could stay here overnight. There is a lean-to or some kind of camp spot around the corner here. I have to check it out. Or I can hike up to the mountain. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Well, let's see. I think I'll take a break here. Enjoy the pond a bit and the frogs. It's just so nice to be alone here and so quiet. I'm surprised actually. Um, I guess most people just go to Hurricane Mountain because it's such a, a distinct place to go, such a great mountain. But I haven't seen anyone going in this direction yet. So, and I didn't see anyone in the register either uh, to hike this way or to camp this way. And actually, most people that left for a day hike didn't even sign in to the register. Mm. 
If there is a book like that, use it because it can save your life. <laughs> Even if it's just a day hike and you've done it five times already or 20. But if it's there, the rangers will look for you if you don't come home. So, But yeah, this pond is pretty cool. A few birds and the frogs. It's so quiet. I hear nothing that comes from humans. No airplanes, no streets. Just nature. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my backpack and hike around and see what this campsite is. Or maybe it's just another lean-to, I'm not sure. And then I decide if I want to go up the mountain or if I stay down here. Down here would be kind of cool too because it's so quiet and this uh, pond's going to come to life tonight with all the frogs. Just like it did a couple of weeks ago. I posted the video already, I'm sure. <coughs> so anyway, let's get going again and see what else awaits us. supposed to be the camp right around here but I really don't think so it's just thick brush and the trail and more thick brush toward the pond there's, there's nothing here I think it's just a mistake in the map so I will continue and see what I find or maybe I just continue up to the mountain well look at that I just walked five more minutes and then I found this lean too. So I think the icon was just in the wrong location and this is the camping they were talking about. Unfortunately not for tents, just to sleep in with your mattress. It's not bad. It's got a lot of room, it's got a fireplace. Hmm. I don't know if anybody else would come here tonight. I, I sat around here a bit and, and thought about what I'm going to do. And I'm going to continue up to the mountain because I uh, have no view here. I don't have access to the lake or to the pond. And so I think I would miss out on a lot. I've never stayed in a lean-to before, so that would be kind of cool. But um, when I do, I'm not going to bring a tent. So, because uh, you just use your mattress and your sleeping bag and that's it. But I want to have the view and the clouds. So I'm going to push forward and go up the mountain. I'll take the risk. I don't know what I'm going to find up there. But uh, there's going to be some spot for my tent, I'm sure. So we'll see. Right, I'll grab my stuff and let's get going again. But I will keep this place in mind, it's pretty cool. Oh boy, this is a steep section. It probably doesn't show on the video very much. Oh boy, <laughs> hey, it's okay. It's actually a short distance to the top of the mountain. I'm already two-thirds from the uh, from the lean-to and I didn't walk very long yet. I think it's just going to take a while to hike up these steep hills here. Uh, I hope there's a view up there. I know there's a ridge and there's supposed to be a nice view from there to Hurricane Mountain. There are no black flies. There are some other 
flies that don't bite. They look like black flies, but they don't bite. Maybe it's not their time anymore, I don't know. And there are mosquitoes, but it's not too bad. Just pick my way carefully because I don't want to fall here. I'm the only one. There's no signal on my cell phone. So the only thing I have, as usual, is my Garmin InReach Mini to call for help if I need it. But hopefully I don't need it ever. All right, I'll put you away. I'll go up this last little bit here. Look, our first view. I don't know what mountain that is over there. Maybe you can't see it. Ah, but I'm glad I did come up here. I see mountains all around and I see clouds and sunshine. Can't wait to break out of the trees here. Oh my God, guys. It wasn't totally worth coming up here. There's the pond. On the far side, I had my lunch and I recorded the frogs and the birds. I just hiked up. Yeah, it's really not that far, look. Just all the way up here. Through the forest. Wow, it's so beautiful. I do love the Adirondack Mountains. There are so many places to discover here. <laughs> and there's Hurricane Mountain with the tower on the top. It's definitely taller. But I do want to make it up there as well sometime to camp. That would be awesome. There's truly a 360 view from there. And if you go up the tower, it's even better. There's a lot of bugs here. I'm coming back. I went just a little way, but it just goes back down to the uh, forest. I guess along the ridge, but inside the forest. So I don't really want that. I'm hoping to stay out in the open. But I did discover some black flies. <laughs> they started biting me. Which sucks because I hate black fly bites because they itch for about a week. They are notorious. So I guess I'll have to deal with that up here. <laughs> Beautiful. Wow, the black flies are crazy. Oops. <laughs> I am surrounded by them. I hope they go away in the evening. I hope it's just a certain time of day that they show up and then they go away because this is awful. Yes, I'm sitting here with a mosquito net <laughs> and they're all over me. <laughs> Always an adventure, friends. Always an adventure. All part of nature. Yeah, they're biting me. Yeah, it's still black fly season. It doesn't go away until July or something. Ah. I can't even film right now because they're biting me. So I may not get a lot of footage at the moment for you guys. Uh, sorry about the shaky cam. <laughs> Maybe I should have stayed at the lean-to, huh? Hmm. I think there's a rain cloud. And it might be coming this way. Hmm. Check out this snake, guys. I don't know what it is, 
but he's uh, enjoying the sun that we now have after a very short um, it wasn't even a rain shower it was just a few uh, drops and what's he doing Things are much better now. I used some DEET and now the bugs are mostly gone. Unfortunately I don't want to use the chemical stuff all the time but it was just getting out of control. I hope you saw them on the video. I, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't eat, I couldn't drink, I couldn't film. It was terrible. <laughs> There's a big group that just came by, well, um, 10 people maybe. Uh, young kids again, maybe um, teenagers. <laughs> I say young kids. And uh, they're doing a 15 day hike. That's so amazing. I'm very jealous. It's just day one for them today and uh, they're staying in the next lean to after this pass here, going back down. And, um, and then they continue and I told them I was going to try and stay up here somewhere I found a couple of spots that might be okay um, there's one on the rock just um, over a little ways but of course there's nothing I can attach the tent to but there's also one a little bit more sheltered inside here behind me and uh, there I think I could use uh, stakes and uh, the wind is not as uh, strong. There's no wind right now but I would, assume, I would assume if there's a rainstorm or something coming later on this evening uh, there might be some wind up here on this bridge or on this mountain. So that's yeah, beautiful. Just had a few raindrops and now I'm just sitting here, had another snack and enjoying the birds and the view. Hope you can hear them. There's really not much else to do. I'm not going to go any further because that would just take me back down into the forest. And that's not where I want to be. So There's really no exploring because there's only the path and then there's super thick forest. So I can't really go anywhere except where I'm going tomorrow or where I have just come up. <laughs> I'm looking forward to sleeping up here and where I'm sitting right now, if the weather is nice, I hope I can have a bottle of wine. I have a small one with me again and some cheese. I got some um, Parmesan shavings <laughs> and just enjoy the evening up here with or without thunderstorms or maybe with the stars who knows it will all be good this is by far the smallest space i ever used for my tent i couldn't even spread out the vestibules at all uh, a little bit on one side a little bit on the other side but barely but they just, uh, there were just some raindrops, so I guess I put it up just in time. I can't even show you the whole tent because it's so tight. Ah well, now it's off to making some dinner. See what the clouds look like. It's a little bit more cloudy now. It's supposed to rain uh, thunderstorms starting at 10 o'clock. So. It's the second time there's rain, but I've been pretty lucky so far pretty big cloud so if there's anyone over there I think they're gonna get soaked for a while but here it's still nice but clouds are definitely rolling in My friends I'm in the tent it's not even eight o'clock I don't think maybe 7 30 but I couldn't take the black flies anymore 
There's so many of them and the moment the wind stops, they're just swarming all over me and bite and it's just no fun. The sky was so pretty, uh, there were rain showers coming through again, a little bit of a sunset, but I couldn't enjoy it and I couldn't cook my food out there or anything. Oh, terrible. They're even here under my rain fly. I'll show you here in a second. So note to self, don't go to the Adirondacks at this time of year, which is the end of June. I think I got one inside that will have to die. The others can stay as long as they don't come in. <laughs> so many of them. I have never seen anything like it. I've gotten bitten by black flies before, but not as much as this season so far. And I'm a little bit allergic to them. Um, it just swells up sometimes quite a bit. Uh, nothing dangerous or anything, it's just uh, extra itchy compared to a uh, mosquito bite. Ugh. So I'm gonna break a rule here and I'm going to make my food inside the tent and then hang out the bear bag. But uh, yeah, there's no way I can eat out there. Look at these guys. Ugh. I'm just finishing my lasagna, freeze-dried lasagna, which is actually pretty good. I think I had it before with you guys, maybe. And it started to rain a little bit. It's getting darker and I hear thunder rumbling. And I wish I could sit out and watch um, the storm come closer and uh, videotape it, photograph it. Uh, but yeah, the black flies won, so. <laughs> but I just checked the weather. Uh, believe it or not, I actually have cell phone service out here. Two bars, which is amazing. So I checked the weather and there is a special uh, weather warning uh, for the region right now for strong storms. So hopefully it's going to be not too strong because I'm right on the um, ridge, basically. <laughs> But um, a little thunderstorm would be nice. I was kind of looking forward to that. Oh, it's really getting dark, isn't it? You can barely see me. Well, let me finish up my pasta real quick so I can hang out my bag before it really starts raining. As you can hear, it started to rain now. I just grabbed my Nikon to take some pictures and video out on the ledge there. Because the, the rain was kind of rolling in, but it was faster than I could be. So I ran back into the tent and I don't think I'm going to go anywhere tonight. This is it, my friends, for tonight. <laughs> Tomorrow supposed to rain all day tomorrow, so I don't know. <laughs> I hear some thunder rumbling once in a while, and I was hoping I could catch it for you guys, but I don't know if it was possible. With the microphone, not sure. But I do enjoy the sound of the rain a lot. I think we found the edge of the storm. I'm very happy to be in my tent now. <laughs> the 
and I'm also happy I'm not sleeping on the ledge like I really wanted to do but there was no way to do it <laughs> I do like a good storm how about you guys? really doesn't care about wind much even though I wasn't able to secure it really well but it really doesn't care it's just a very good tent Thankfully there isn't a lot of lightning. I heard some thunder but not that much. So far anyway. I think it sounds worse here in amongst the trees than it actually is. Adventures, my friends, adventures. This is the most wind this tent had to uh, work through. It's doing well. I have to turn down the mic, it's too loud. <laughs> now I'm also glad I'm not in the lean to because I would get totally wet in there. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. My shoes 
those are still dry. Just a pretty thin line of storms with rain following. So I think we just hit that line and, and now we're good. Well, that was pretty fun, wasn't it? I love storms. <laughs> Still going on a little bit, but not as much anymore. There might be some more later on tonight. Uh, there's supposed to be a couple more maybe. We'll see. But this was already totally worth coming up here for. Thankfully it wasn't anything dangerous. It was just wind and, and rain now. It's not always a smart idea probably to camp on a ridge. <laughs> I know, I know. So don't do that. Well, I guess I'll call it for tonight and I will bring you back if something cool happens, maybe another thunderstorm or otherwise I'll find you in the morning. Hopefully everything will be well and uh, just going to be rain, I guess. Good night, guys. Good morning, my friends. Ah, there was a nice night. It was just raining, pretty heavy at times, and um, I don't know when it stopped. But there was never another thunderstorm, so well, that's pretty good. I did check the radar and there is another rain cloud coming my way. And I don't think I have enough time to, unpa uh, to pack everything up. And... Uh, have breakfasted everything before the rain so <laughs> it's almost eight o'clock now I slept pretty late that's good <laughs> I woke up too early yesterday at five o'clock or so we'll take it slow today I'll just hike um, further and see if I can find another cool place to camp at up here and uh, hopefully there aren't as many black flies but I think there will be I'm so itchy, my arms are all swollen up a little bit by the bites. Let me see if I can show you that. Do you see... Do you see those... those welts? Oh man, they're so itchy. All along the arms, inside on my hand. On both hands. I really had to pull myself together last night not to scratch anymore and finally go to sleep. Ah, so itchy. I think I take mosquitoes any day over black flies. But anyway, ah, the bastards are still here. Look at that. They're waiting. <laughs> It's so cool out here this morning. Uh, so much better. There are no black flies. I think it's too cold and windy for them. Really cold, I think. And uh, the clouds are just kind of brushing the, uh, the mountains there. The Hurricane Mountain is completely gone right behind me.
Can you hear the rain? Now my friends, I'm back in the tent again because it started drizzling. Uh, the forecast did say it for almost all day uh, there's going to be rain, but there's supposed to be um, clear skies tonight, which would be cool because maybe I get a chance to take some pictures of stars again. Uh, but in the meantime, just going to have my breakfast in here and uh, and then slowly pack up. It's maybe nine o'clock now. I don't know if there will be any people hiking up here today. I guess it would be nice to have my stuff gone by then. <laughs> but either either way, it might take them an hour or two to get up here. So uh, I'm, I'm not worried about it too much. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> not much else to do. I'm just going to pack up and then we'll go find the next spot. I definitely want to try to get a nice view again, uh, especially if the, uh, the sky clears up. So, hopefully, no black flies, guys. <laughs> the itching has finally stopped a little bit. I was uh, cooling it off with the, um, my cold hands, and now it feels a little better, but everything is a bit swollen. So, hmm, horrible. All right, let me make my breakfast. I, uh, I'll have some oats again, as you, usual. I'm not gonna film it. You guys have seen me cook my oats before. <laughs> I will catch up with you guys a little bit later as I'm packing up my stuff and heading out of here. This is what happens when I get bitten by black flies. I think I showed you some last night already, but it just keeps growing. Yeah, it just really swells up. It doesn't itch as much anymore, so I think that's my body just somehow taking care of it. But <laughs> it sure is annoying. It's time to say goodbye to this amazing spot and find another one after 12 right now uh, a group of people came by with uh, camping gear too I'm not sure where they're going but me I'm gonna stay up here and hopefully find something cool <laughs> see where this path takes me 